So I'm a big advocate of development for, for everybody. And in my experience working with development and working on developing women, I have found that the best opportunity for us to develop and thrive in corporate uh, environment and in nonprofit is actually for us to do that together with men. That said, we know that inherently we have biases of our own and our organizations are structured with a lot of biases and society in general has biases. So we certainly want to create opportunities to help accelerate the promotion of women. And we have done that through informal mentorships and sponsorships and also through development programs and recently in partnership with really using behavioral science uh, have looked at how to structure a program that we're calling altitude to help support that development for women to give them some additional confidence and actually concrete business skills to accelerate their career you know, we were really clear in, in when we defined our philosophy around diversity and inclusion that we believe that diverse and inclusive organization will enable us to have people feel more engaged, be able to deliver greater impact, and ultimately create greater value for the company, for the shareholders. And so doing that together and doing that in partnership and having that ally mentality, you know, we're all in this, any voice that isn't included and that we don't create that speak up environment to be heard is, is actually just detrimental to us as individuals, as teams and as organizations. Well, I think first it's around having a clear understanding and belief of how you believe people develop. And I fundamentally believe that people develop by actually doing the work, uh, applying new concepts and theories and practicing with them, experimenting with them and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And I think sometimes we see that women are less likely to take those risks. They take the, the path that is a little bit more sure and uh, proven already. And I think what we want to do is really encourage them to do that. So giving them real projects, real assignments, and then supporting them with development coaching throughout the journey of them actually doing the real work. We need to have these open, honest discussions. So we have biases. I am deeply biased. And I think about diversity and inclusion all the time. So I think what is important is that we aren't afraid to call out and we're not afraid to sort of say like you know not take it as this personal hit like oh shoot of course my intention was good I, I talk to my team a lot around assuming positive intention um, I do that not blindly though right um, I one of the things I also talk about leadership is around trusting before they've earned the trust now if they break the trust then it's hard to gain it back but I think if we're assuming positive intention, we're creating that space where we can talk about these biases that are inherent in our social. So they become invisible, they become difficult to see. We need to call them out if we are going to accelerate. And to be honest, we have to make actually some courageous fact-based decisions now if we're going to truly accelerate because we've been talking about this topic for a long, long time. Like any other business decision, we just need to step up and make some courageous decisions. And that is when we'll see a change in, in representation of women, of minority groups, and of cognitive diversity that we need to have in organizations. Well, actually, I believe that all leaders uh, need a set of very similar characteristics uh, to be successful. And I'd like to say the first one is to be authentic, authentically you, but with a little bit more skill. And that's where the development comes in, of course. But I mean, leaders who are flexible, who are able to pivot quickly, you know, make decisions, but when new information comes in that they're able to transition, I always want them to be demonstrating empathy and humanness. For me, in a world that is being more and more polarized, demonstrating ethical and responsible business practices is paramount for me. And that is combined actually with humanness and empathy. We talk very much about being in a digital transformation, but at the end of the day, we're not robots yet. We're human beings. 
and we are all going through different uh, challenges. I think now we've been talking about isolation and loneliness with the COVID and a pandemic and again polarization around the world in terms of race relations and discrimination across. This is around us bringing us together and that is where humanness and empathy really comes uh, as an important aspect of us being people to people, having meaningful conversations, whether it's with our colleagues, with our um, customers, or with those just, you know, that we're, we're working with. Um, we need to make sure that in, it's the meaningful conversations and that is what leadership and what successful people are really doing.